Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected at the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. Any news on Mike? Nothing. No clues either. You know where he disappeared? Maybe I can take a look. As a matter of fact, I do. I could use a pair of fresh eyes on this. And I trust you. Let me mark the area on your map. And I'll let you know if I find anything.
stab wounds. In fact, it didn't do that. Looks like you were ambushed and left for dead, Mike. Worse, left in the dark so you'd turn. Just killing you wasn't enough for these bastards. I should take these to Driscoll. You're back? You find anything? Letters. Took them off an infected in a carrier's uniform. Fuck, Mike. I mean, it's dangerous out there. But fuck! It's worse than that. The infected didn't kill him. He was stabbed and left to turn. Intentionally. So he was attacked. Well, that happens. As respected as we are. We're targeted for robbery because of the information we carry. People are always trying to disrupt the network. It wasn't a robbery. Since his deliveries were still on him, he must have been targeted. Mike didn't have any enemies. Well, based on all the disappearances lately, it's probably not Mike who has enemies. You mean someone's targeting the guild itself? No one would have the nerve. But what if they did? What then? If the guild were brought down, so would the network. There'd be chaos. Then we'd all better watch each other's backs. Hey, 
Professor, got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here, I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay, later. Chances against the Renegades were pretty good. But now. This your I'm stuff, so buddy. Sure. What can I get you? A man of taste. PK is gonna envy your purchases, that's for sure. I could use your help. Have you checked the job board lately? Judging from your tone, it's something serious, not just another bandit problem, right? Yes. One of my men deserted his post. Oh, that's serious. Who was it? That's what pisses me off. It was a friend, a guy named Bart. Maybe it's my fault. I know he had it rough here. I tried to protect him. I guess it wasn't enough. You protect him? From who? The other soldiers, they had a problem with him. Which was? Their problem, not Bart's. Believe me, I know what it's like to be the odd man or woman out in old school military culture. But here's my problem. Desertion alone will get him the death penalty. But what he took could get others, good men, killed. What did he steal? Let's call it a map. That's all I can tell you. The rest is on a need-to-know basis only. And you don't need to know. You need me to track him down? Yes. With everything going on, I just don't have the manpower to spare. But I must get that map back. Okay, I get the map. But what about Bart? When you bring the map back, just tell me where he is and leave the rest to me. It's my job. Okay, where should I start looking? Try his bunk. It's in the barracks, a deck above us. Can I ask anyone about Bart? Sure. He was pretty well known, whether he liked it or not. He was popular among the new recruits. Try asking Mateo. He's usually hanging around the armory. Then there's Magda. Never had a kind word to say about Bart. Or anyone, for that matter. She works in the hospital on the next floor. Okay, I think I can take it from here. Good luck, Aiden. I can't wait for the tournament. It's been years since the last one. Hey, uh, you Mateo? We've met. New Dawn Park. You were looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You saved me from the Renegades. Oh, right. Uh, listen, Mateo. Meyer sent me. I'm looking for Bart. Bart? Uh, thanks for saving me and all, but I can't help you with Bart. I just want to... 
No, sorry. I haven't run across him for a while anyway. Try Garrett. I saw him walking toward the barracks. Jeez. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Keep coming, keep coming. You're gonna drown in selection. It ain't no dead man's chest, but I'll take it. Wish I had other customers smart as you. Come, Come back and shop again. The butcher is our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Come on, man. This stuff is primo. You pass it up, it'll be gone in two... You, Garrett? I'm trying to find Bart. I hear you know him. Maybe. That depends. You friend or foe? Uh, undecided. Cute. Listen, you can count me as one of Bart's friends. And as for those rumors that Bart's done something wrong, total bullshit. Bullshit? Give me a break. Whatever's going on, it's a setup. I'm sure the other PKs are behind this. Which PKs? Throw a rock. You'd probably hit one, and it'd bounce off and hit another, and so on. How would they set up one of their brothers like this? <sighs> Don't believe everything you hear about dignity and brotherhood around here. I see. So you know where Bart might be? I don't. But even if I did, don't know if I'd tell you, Mr. Undecided. Right. Well, thanks for the insight. Hey, you seen the Quartermaster anywhere? Want to be sent back to the Outlands? Patrol, report in already. We're here, we're here. I can't hear myself. Why don't we get some letter off? I'm taking the people to the Nox. Stop waiting! Not hot on the eyes, either. Shouldn't you be getting back to base? Ah, we've got one more out. Okay. Be careful. We'll let you know if anything happens. I heard. She apparently has some kind of fetish for renegade masks. Well, the thing is, that. You're self confident. That much is obvious. But do you believe in anything outside of yourself? Bigger than yourself? I'd like to think so, but the world doesn't make believing very easy. Agreed. But we have to hope that all this suffering isn't for nothing. It'd be way fucked up if this was all for nothing. I see you're conflicted about this. But not despairing. That's something. I just don't want to see life as a constant struggle for nothing, I guess. I see. Thank you for sharing this with me. Oh, here. I have to go, but I have to tell you something first. What's that? But I know I don't always have the right words, but I do enjoy our talks. I'm glad. I do too. See you again. Soon, I hope. you lose a hand, pal. No order without strict laws.
but our chances to get the guys are pretty good. You always like to surprise me, Ted. Hey, are you Leon's wife? Yes, Kyra. How can I help? At the VNC Tower, I was on a mission, and I met your husband. I came here because it... No. Hush. Hush. Look, I wanted you to... Please don't say anything. I know you're the pilgrim. It's been getting warmer lately. I thought that when Leon returns from the mission, we could go for a walk by the Tazawa. That's where we met. Although it wasn't very romantic. I came to get some water and Leon was just trying to get his uniform clean. It had his squad mate's blood on it. It always walks beside us, doesn't it? Death. I knew it would eventually come for Leon as well. So why? Why am I so surprised by it? I'm so sorry. He was a great man. He wanted me to give you this letter. Thank you. So this must be how the story of Squad 404 ends. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got. And their last words. I can still hear them. In my dreams. But that's a good thing, you know? Because we mustn't forget them. And this place. The PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. Yeah, I know what you mean. To remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim. May I ask something of you? Will you help me collect them? Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Fitzbowski, Chris, and Lieutenant Rowe in the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC Tower. As for the rest of the squad, here are the action reports. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited. before someone takes them. The living and the dead are counting. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us more. This feud is silly. We all want peace. Get out of my face, asshat. You can't be trusted. You showed your true colors, that <laughs> And so, got him? They got away. Those are pigs. You know, you're getting the evil snow. It was privacy, private and barracks. You shouldn't be here. PK barracks are off limits to civilians. something? So what did you find, son? Hmm. You know anything about this? Not really, but it's good. Bull cream work, if you ask me. Who drew it? Couldn't tell you. I've seen Bart with pictures like this off and on over the last year. But as far as I know, he doesn't have children of his own. Ah, uh, children. 
Mine are all grown. Not all is still alive either, sadly. But I remember when they were young and happy, drawing constantly. They scribbled their way through boxes and boxes of crayons. The kid who drew that, he's a happy kid. Well, if Bart doesn't have kids, where'd he get it? Probably child of a friend or something. He was kind to everyone. Here, there, everywhere. Unless you were a bully. Hmm. <laughs> no, this doesn't help. Now what do I do? You might ask Stack over at the canteen. Seen them together a few times. Bart helped him when he was in some trouble. Helped everyone a lot. Thanks. I'll go talk to that stock. Responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. Now, who knows? You're Silencio? Yeah. You familiar with my art? Well, not really, but I have seen Silencio posters around town. And you look, uh... Well, you look younger than the pictures. Well, maybe it's my use of boulder or tissue mask. Or some other shit depends on who acts. If you is a crime, it's cause I laid them fresh rhymes. Fresher than Frank and his team in the shitty canteen. I have no way of picking up what you're laying down. The virus must have really cramped your style. Cramped, but not necrotic. I'm better than ever. Now, how's that? Just listen, man. Throw me a word, and I'll freestyle for you. Goat. Goat? Are you fucking serious? That's whack. How about, uh, ooh, the peacekeepers? Ah, tough one. They got no style, they got no rhythm. And all they want is for us to join with them. Acting peaceful when for fights they're keen. Just like the Lushes in Frankie's canteen. Dope, right? Lay another one on me. <sighs> okay, um, volatile. Fast and furious, I can see that you're curious. 
Who scared of the most? Acts like he's seen a ghost. Wanna scare Frank? Play a volatile prank. Yeah, of all my rhymes, that was not the most fine. Hit me with another word. Well, I'm sensing that you're not a big fan of Frank. Really? Why'd you say that? Just an easy rhyme to make, man. Well, not really. You came up with some excruciating rhymes just to diss Frank. Excruciating? You disrespecting me? The one and only Silencio? You're not Silencio. <laughs> with rhymes like those, it's clear you just pose. My guess is you're just some wannabe that Frank won't let perform at the canteen. Yeah, but only because I'm underage. Not because I suck. Grow up, then, and stop pretending you're someone you're not. And I'm sure Frank would be more friendly if you cut down on insulting him. I'll... think about it. Meantime, check this out. A ticket to my last gig, fool. Told you I was the one and only Silencio. Ha! package for you thank you holy I can't believe he got it what's that my fiance's ring it was lost lost I lost her she was wearing it when the power went out by the time it was back on she turned and fled into the night that's terrible it was on her shambling corpse. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He me. promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. Well, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past... Oh, no. No, no. No, no. What? There's a note in here. It's from Dinesh's sister. She says... She says... D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning when he came back. They had to kill him. But they found the ring clutched in his hand. Oh, I... I don't know what to say. Uh. 
Package for you. Ferris, come quick. The stork's arrived. The stork's arrived. That's not a stork, honey. That's the carrier. Nonsense. I know a stork when I see one. And it's brought our beautiful baby. Our gorgeous son. Huh? That's right, honey. She's beautiful. Look, he's yawning. I bet he's tired from his journey. You should put him to bed. Oh. But I want to rock him and hug him and squeeze him. And oh, look, Ferris, look at those little apple cheeks. I could just eat them up. <laughs> That's right, Mummy could just eat up her little boy. Num, 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 num. Sweetheart? Oh. But you're right. I'll put him to bed. Still there, buddy? Just tell me I didn't just deliver a baby. No. Don't worry, it's just a doll. Oh, Ferris! His eyes! He has your eyes! I told you he would, honey. What's going on? Look, buddy, my wife recently lost our real son in childbirth. She hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so... Someone recommended getting a doll for her to care for. That seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris. He even has the cutest poops. How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so uh, please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so just take it. Understood. Thank you. So you're Dreskel's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. Smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now let me guess. You're Derek. And the flesh, loser. Carriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, it sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine, I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit. I'm gonna show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson, and you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do, pilgrim. <laughs> 